and welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the season trailer, Fight, the Fight season trailer for Kung Fu. So yeah, for those not aware, uh, Kung Fu was, the original Kung Fu was based off an original, a very original idea from Bruce Lee, mm -hmm. um, in which, uh, in, in, in the, the original TV show's adaptations case, uh, it was Keith Carradine going around solving problems. David with the, Carradine. David Carradine, or uh, David Carradine going around with um, martial arts justice around the West. Just in the original, them. pretty much, it was it. He was in a. Uh, he he was like a full on, you know, you know, half American, half uh, Chinese, pretty much American from his father's side. But they left him at this monastery where he grew up and learned and did all this until pretty much. Uh, 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 the, the emperor's nephew has pretty much been murdered and I, or at least somebody's murdered and pretty much he kills somebody. And now that his head is like, is up for, you know, it's, it's like, he's want, he's a wanted man. So he decides to go back to the States to find his brother and stuff like that. And that's where his adventure kind of goes on. And we've got flashbacks every now and then from like lessons he had when so, growing up in the monastery. Okay. So that's enough of the original. That was so the original. The, yeah. So the reboot, they've done, definitely does something differently so in this show's case it's uh they gender bend they gender flipped it this time it's a young woman who leaves pretty much leaves her life behind to go to a chinese to who's a, also a, a chinese american who's also a chinese american who goes to a china monastery pretty much um, for opposite. a while only to come back and find out her talents being overtaken by assholes so um it's up to her and her martial arts skills and and shout right it has berlanti's name on it I'm sorry, you cut out completely out of okay, my screen. Okay, it has Berlanti's name on it, right? Yes, sure. he's attached to it. Okay, yes. so just to clarify, he's not creator of it. Uh, Christina Kim is, and she's a very well-known uh, TV producer who's worked on a bunch of shows all over the place on different networks. So, like, this is pretty much her thing from the sound of it, but it has Berlanti's name slapped on. Because yeah, Christina is, like, the, the creator of the updated version, and Ed Spielman is the creator of the original who's also attached to this exactly um so yeah i'm looking forward to checking it out i've only seen i vaguely remember seeing a couple episodes of the original show as a kid but nothing substantial overall all so. i've ever known about it was just about the whole bruce lee thing and that's all i've ever heard about it i think i've seen certain clips from the series the original series but that's about it so mm -hmm. let's just dive into this and see what this version is going to bring um and how it's going to live up to the original, or at least you know, live, make of it make of its own kind. So let's dive into this uh, for the official season trailer uh, for Kung Fu. So here we go. To truly master Kung Fu, you must find peace, peace with your family. Peace and my family don't really go together. Golden child's back, baby. I don't think I'm gonna go to law school anymore. <laughs> uh, she's not joking. You've been training since you got back? Does fighting gangsters count? Oh, okay. Thanks for the assist. You're a kung fu butt kicking hero? There's a girl. She's in trouble. I stepped in. Stepped in? <gasps> more like punch and kick. <laughs> I live for this stuff. You took down an army by yourself. You basically walked on air. It was physics. <laughs> it is physics. This is what I meant to do. Kung Fu. New series starts Wednesday, April 7th. Okay, the one thing I do like is that it's like, it's not like she's coming back and she's like this whole monk thing, you know, where it's just like, what is this world I'm in? No, it's like she's already known of this world, and she. Oh yeah, you know, that's why. That's works. why I brought up she. She leaves everything behind to go to train in the China, the monastery in China. Yeah, yeah. So and that's what I like about her is that it's like compared to the original. The original, like I said, he was he was left there as a child. Yeah. Here, it's like she go, comes to this at a certain age, and then it's like coming back to where it's like, hey, I'm back, da 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 da, but knows of the world around her and things like that. But it's like things have changed since she's left, you know, where they're like, it sounds like she's, they were expecting her to come back and okay, you're going to still continue, you know, you know, to become a lawyer or something like that. It's like mm -hmm. things have changed over time of the lessons she may have learned, you know? So yeah, I, I mean, know, like I said, looks, it sounds it looks looks fairly right. well done. 
It looks yeah, really, I think what really is deliver. I, go ahead. Problem I have with it is that I've already seen enough CW shows where there's a lot of martial arts in it. So I think I, I'm, it, but I'm the thing is, is like the thing is that's that's what I was trying to bring up is that when you make a really great fight scene, you give you've seen in people's reactions when it comes to either arrow or you know any any of those physical type of actions where it's like that single camera was like on this whole time and they do this whole sequence it's like you have you you're, you got to be able to do it smoothly and i'm hoping that's what this show can do there's not i'm hoping that there's not, there's not gonna be too many cuts too many cuts in between you know for this that's really sell you have to have a lot of good solid action scenes where it's like you see you're right there in one single shot take them down without any cuts you know to so, me it's okay. like go okay. ahead so my biggest problem is not that, none of that. I think it's a great, great con- I, way to look at it. My mm-hmm. biggest problem with this is that, like I said, it's a CW show featuring martial arts. It's not the first CW show we've seen featuring martial arts. So, like, all I'm hoping for is that there's more to her story than, like, she's just badass. She kicks all kinds of ass, you know? That's what oh, I'm I know. For. You're saying you want, you want there to be a bigger MacGuffin to, like, who she is or, you know, what she's learned and things like that. Yeah, because, like it's like just based on this trailer it's it's cool that she's able to take down all these dudes on her own but like i feel like there needs to be more like at least when it came to like shows i don't know if you ever see it she was like arrow legends you know other shows would you think, like would that. you suggest like iron fist levels of, of like no no no, <laughs> no 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 that's not what i mean it's like I'm no, not saying I mean, no, powers. Like with, no, no, no powers. I'm saying no, no, I mean, no, no. Those saying... shows, they had that hook. Like there was martial arts, but there was that hook. Like Arrow, there was martial arts, but the hook was it was the Green Arrow. You know, uh, Legend Tomorrow. The hook was they had martial arts in there, but the hook was a group of sidekicks going on time traveling journeys together. You know, yeah, yeah there, it's like she I, comes I, I back and can kick all kinds of ass. No, no, I know that more? you're saying you're, you're just hoping. We're, I, I know you're not. We're not asking or saying, hey turn her into a superhero at a certain point. No, a no, 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 no. And I understand that, you know, and that's what made, I think, the original series. The original series was just that it was just stories that were being told. That's right. what really delivered the original series, I believe. You know, and it was just the stories being told. So I'm hoping here they don't dive too far into like, oh, you know, do something crazy, like, you know, with the area, how they deal with Arrow or just like, no, just, you know, focus on more of the story. You can still have, make sure you still have the Kung Fu in there, but have a good, strong story to deliver on mm-hmm. each episode or, that strong aspect of like, okay, what, where is this leading up to something, you know, that's, that's what really you have to deliver on. that's what the original series kind of delivered on, you know, from what I heard. I think yeah, the original series. but as for this show itself, yeah, it does look good. Um, the fight scenes look nice. I mean, well, like I said, now, I'm looking for a bit more to it. Yeah. Now our TV show rating. Oh, God damn. I forgot we do those. Yeah. Um, uh, um, I'm lazy. I'm just going to say, wait till second season. See if it gets better uh, for a second I'm season. Probably gonna say second season. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how long this show will last. Just on the fa- this on the key fact that she's just a martial arts badass. At least with like Queen Latifah Equalizer show, he has that like history. She has. Oh, in this case, she has that history. You know, yeah. of uh, military. Here background, has history like built that. up for her character at least. Of who she here was it's not. Past. Here I'm just. I don't know, I'm still not quite feeling it. Maybe if it gets back to second season, maybe and I think what's safe in that. And, and I think what's difficult is that compared to the original, the original, she was more, again, the original, he was more of like, he was a child when he was sent there and he's coming back. And it was like, this whole world's kind of new to him here. She's aware of the world, but she still learned all this stuff. It's like, so how's that going to, how's that going to tie? It does have story? that uh, arrow season. does have that arrow season one vibe where, in a way, she kind of leaves out nowhere, comes back, and she knows all the kung fu, you know, and she yeah, knows all I'm the martial that, arts. And, and that's why I'm, I'm sitting there going, I really hope they can sell, like you said, the story of it, the story aspect. That's what I think the one thing, like you said, besides the fighting, which like how I mentioned, that's what I want. But I think what the number one thing is the story. That's what they need to focus on. And that's what they need to, to build on is that they have to build on her character. They have to make, mm-hmm. It's like, give us a reason why we should follow this character, why should we, uh, you know, adore, not adore this character, but at least appreciate this character? You know, why, you know, why do we root for her, you know, and who she was or who she is? You know, that's, that's what I'm, like what you said, that's what we need to build on is this, the story. That's what we need. It has to have a good, strong story to back up this whole kung fu aspect of things, you know? If you want to share us around, share it around. And I feel like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about CW original series. Hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys' thoughts are on this uh, trailer overall. If you've seen the original 
or watch snippets or watch, you know, bits of the originals of uh, uh, Kung Fu series. You know, um, did you like the original series overall of where they took it? And how do you think you're taking this? What are your guys' thoughts on how they're taking this new character and this new story? You know, are you going to be watching it? Are you going to be passing on it? Are you going to be more of, I'll wait for the second season on it? Or just say, I'm just going to forget about it completely. I mean, let us yes. know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of our reaction overall. But most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, folks, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And of course, this has been a very Kung Fu filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. If you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.